Hello friends, today I'll be giving you the top 10 comedy movies with the most over the top, I can't believe that just happened scenes. This list will not contain any spoof movies for obvious reasons. At number 10, This Is The End. This Is The End was released in 2013 and is about a group of celebrities that got caught in the rapture. Oh, I just drank my own pee for the first time. And it ain't bad. I... This movie had multiple scenes that left the viewer stunned, starting with the Michael Sarah slapping Rihanna's backside and getting caught in the bathroom doing the unthinkable. Next, you had Jonah Hill getting possessed, and then Danny McBride abusing James Franco's magazines, house, and food. But in my opinion, the most out of control scene in the movie was the Emma Watson scene and the Channing Tatum scene. At number 9, Little Nicky. Little Nicky was released in the year 2000 and stars Adam Sandler as Nicky, a shy man-child who has the tall task to keep his father's seat on the throne. The movie starts with a peeping Tom falling to his demise and going to hell, and things only get crazier from there. With scenes like the basketball game, Nicky visiting Valerie and runs into the naughty neighbor, pretty much any scene with these guys, or Mr. Beefy. But if I had to choose, I would say the final fight scene is the most over-the-top scene in the whole movie. At number 8, Superbad. Let me start by saying, Superbad is one of the top rated late night comedy movies of all time. And if you haven't seen it, I suggest you pause this and go watch the movie right now. Superbad was released in 2007 and is about three friends who are all trying to get the girl of their dreams at a senior party. The movie starts with the craziest phone conversation about college and corn and only gets wilder from there when they get to school. You got Seth, played by Jonah Hill, doing the most outlandish stuff during home mech and telling Evan, played by Michael Sarah, about his one strong addiction. Next, we're introduced to McMuffin, I mean McLovin, Fogo, played by Christopher Mintz. Some other notable over-the-top scenes is Seth getting run over twice, the bar scene, the chase scene, and in my opinion, the craziest part of the whole movie is the adult party. You got Seth getting violated by a woman, Evan forced to sing and to fight, and Francis getting kicked in the sweet, sweet jewels. At number 7, Observe and Report. Observe and Report was released in 2009 and is about a mall cop Ronnie played by Seth Rogen who takes his job way too serious and will do anything to keep them all safe. The movie starts with a flasher terrorizing shoppers and when Ronnie hears about this, he assembles a team of misfits to stop him. A few out of control scenes is the Ronnie and Brandy date scene and bedroom scene. Ronnie's police interview, Ronnie saving Nell from her manager, Ronnie catching the kid drug dealer, and I have a two way tie for the craziest scene in the movie between the Chick-fil-A F you scene and the scene when Dennis and Ronnie goes on an all day tear. At number six, Euro Trip. Euro Trip was released in 2004 and this movie puts the scene in comedy. Euro Trip is about a teenager Scotty played by Scott Melchlowicz who accidentally fumbles the girl of his dreams so he decides to fly to Europe to get her back. The movie starts with Scotty getting dumped by his girlfriend at graduation then her new lover writing a song about it and performing the song Scotty doesn't know at a graduation party. At this same party, Scotty's best friend Cooper, played by Jacob Pitts, finessed a girl out of her bikini without her knowing. This movie has so many over-the-top scenes, like the nude beach scene, the Bratislava scene, the creep on the train scene, the robot scene, and the memorable dude you made out with your sister scene. But anybody who's watched this movie knows the Flugen Kenjin Holland scene is not only the craziest scene of the movie, but it may be top 10 craziest scenes in a comedy movie of all time. Flugen Kenjin Holland! At number 5, The American Pie Franchise. American Pie 1999 is about a teenager Jim played by Jason Biggs whose goal for the year is to lose his V-card. The craziest scene in the original American Pie is what Jim did to his mother's pie. Next, let's get to some of the craziest moments in the franchise. First, the crazy glue tape scene, the under the table restaurant scene, and the trumpet and the bunghole scene. Now, let's talk about the person who made the whole franchise out of control, Steve Stifler, played by Sean William Scott. We all remember the urinating balcony scene and the grandmother scene, but since we talked about number one, let's talk about number two, the beach beer scene. I had a hard time picking the most craziest scene from the franchise, but I landed on another two-way tie between the milking like a cow scene and the dog and cake scene. What do you think is the craziest out of control moment from the franchise? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. 
At number four, Sex Drive. Sex Drive was released in 2008 and is about a kid, Ian, played by Josh Zuckerman, who takes a cross-country trip to lose its V-card, aka visiting grandma. The movie starts with Ian having an inappropriate dream, and at the climax of this dream, his whole family walks in. Some other notable scenes is the peeing in the radiator scene, the donut with extra luggage scene, the male and female prison scene, the rolling brownout scene with the purple and grandad's undercarriage, the whole ending donut scene, but the crazy the scene of the whole movie is a hard on at the abstinence pledge scene. At number three, the Hangover franchise. I'm just gonna say, between Alan and Mr. Chow, we can be here all night, but I'm gonna try to make this thing short. The movie is about four friends who goes to Vegas for a bachelor party, but ends up losing their memory and their friend Doug in the process, but not Black Doug. Some memorable scenes of the franchise is the baby at the breakfast table scene, the Mike Tyson tiger and tiger in the bathroom scene, the Mr. Chow in the trunk scene, the monkey chase scene, the Mr. Chow icebox scene, and the supposedly Mr. Child's mansion scene, the tooth and the tattoo scene, the giraffe scene, but besides the singing scene, the craziest scene of the whole Hangover franchise is the Bangkok strip club scene. Yikes. At number two, Bad Santa. I don't even know where to begin with this movie. Bad Santa was released in 2003 and is about two yearly mall thieves, Willie, played by Billy Bob Thornton, and Marcus, played by Tony Cox. The movie starts with Willie sneaking behind someone's bar and pretending to be the owner, but things only gets crazier from there, to the dressing room scene and Willie urinating on himself scene. We all remember the buddy, I'm not gay scene, and who can forget all the scenes with Willie losing his temper, like the checker scene, the alarm scene, the I'm on my lunch break scene, besides the skateboarder scene, the craziest scene and the whole movie is the boxing scene. That whole scene could easily go down as one of the top 20 funniest scenes of all time. And at number one, the most over the top, craziest comedy movie of all time, Borat. Borat was released in 2006 and this movie was so over the top it received seven lawsuits after its release. This movie is about a reporter Borat played by Sasha Baron Cohen who flies to America to learn their culture. I'll just rattle off some of the craziest scenes from the movie but honestly from beginning to end this whole movie is out of control starting with the knock knock joke scene. This suit is black. Okay. Um, I, I don't, I don't. I'm not not. Next, the antique shop scene, the feminist equal rights scene, my two favorite scenes, the driver instructor scene, and the buying a car scene, and we can't forget about the national anthem scene, the hotel scene, and the naked hotel fight scene. Myself personally, I couldn't pick the craziest scene from this movie, but if you think you know what the craziest scene from this movie was, please let me know in the comments below. And there you have it, the top 10 craziest over the top comedy movies of all time. So do you think I got the list correct or do you think it's out of order? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, please like and subscribe. As always, it's your favorite neighborhood movie critic. Thank you for tuning in and see you next time.